Before we start the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully it's gonna grow and get bigger. So I would like to say that last Friday, I have actually uploaded this video where I have actually told you that we can sculpt the gold right from that level of a resistance and the take profit level is gonna be placed right here at the nearest support our entry. Now I'm very happy to say that the analysis has worked perfectly fine and the signal has worked as I have predicted and went for about 120 pips of profit. So the idea of this video actually was just sharing with you some setups for the gold for the day. It's just a sculpting signals which I'm going to give you and I'm actually planning to make it on daily basis. So the plan here is simply like that to give you every morning an upload uh, to, um, to give you a video a video actually uh, sharing with you the plans for the day how we are going to sculpt the gold what are the best level to sculpt the gold by buy or sell orders and how far we can keep the trade running and the difference between this idea and the deal of the day is that the deal of the day was actually based on a swing trades meaning we have to wait for the market to reach that level of a resistance and then we have to wait the market to reach that level of a take profit the idea of this video is different i'm going to give you a scalping signals meaning wait for the gold to reach this level of a support then keep the trade running till the market reach that level of a resistance then if the gold falls down we're going to start buying from that level and just keep the trade running for about 20 or 30 pips only till that level of a resistance and so on and if the gold uh, rose against that direction we can sell at that level of a resistance and keep the trade running only till it reaches that level of a support so it's basically a scalping signals i'm really interested to know what's your opinion about this what do you think about this idea i think it's actually more handful than the live trading videos because i think the channel is loaded with live trading videos that we don't really need them need them anymore so this is actually, I think it's going to be better for everyone. So instead of me making profits myself, I can actually share with you the idea here and share, the, share with you the setups. So hopefully all of us can make profits on that day from the gold. Uh, please share with me what's your thoughts about this idea. Is it going to be helpful? Is it going to be not good? Because as you know, I can never guess them every single day correctly. I would say about 75 or 80% of the time I would be right. But however, we cannot, we can never be actually uh, accurate and correct every single day. So uh, being uh, daily basis uh, videos, I think is going to be helpful. But again, again, I really want to hear your opinion and what do you think about this idea? So please don't forget to drop it in the comments and let me know what do you think about it. And by the way, I'm very happy to say that Angela has fully recovered from her illness and she's ready to send you the signals starting next week. So of course, don't forget to join the premium group of Telegram. We are very excited to share with you some of the best Forex signals that we have already prepared for you. And I have actually personally assisted Angela in finding these signals. So really hoping that they are going to be very profitable and highly accurate for everyone. So let's now begin uh, the weekly analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now, the first thing that we can notice here is that the market has indeed reversed from what I have mentioned to start selling the Euro USD. But keep in mind that on Wednesday, we had the FOMC statement from Mr. Jerome Paul. Uh, these statements has actually changed the entire signals direction. Uh, almost all of them were actually running in a good profits and uh, it was just going in the right direction as I have predicted. But then on a Friday, on sort of Wednesday night, something happened. Uh, the USDGPY, I never guess it correctly. It's never right. I mean, I'm really tired of this pair. For the USDGPY, it's always incorrect for me. Um, I don't know. I, it's really like a funny thing. If I tell you to buy, just sell, okay? I'm just joking. Uh, USDCHF, however, has uh, went has worked actually perfectly fine as we can see and it has went all the way to the take profit level making 118 pips uh the gold has reversed just like about 40 pips from our entry and went all the way for about 538 pips only if i have increased or actually yeah if i have low, um uppered my entry point it would have actually be great but however uh, what happened happened let's now see what we can do next with the uh, market and let's now begin with the euro usd so from the first look on the euro usd we can tell that the market is definitely going to be uh, bullish for this week let me first delete the old signal and let's say that we need to go first to the daily chart 
I don't really need to do, I don't really need to go to the weekly but anyway I will do it just to show you so far we don't have much happening but what I can see here on the weekly chart is simply like that we had here a resist a support level and as you can see that that support level has been respected for entire month because each candle here represents a whole week so we have one two three four attempts to break out from that level of a support at one point double zero nine fifty two which tells us that the euro USD is definitely going to be bullish for this week and we can expect from the pair to continue the rise at least till it reaches that previous uh, broken support level at 1.0327 uh, sorry 1.0327 which means we still have about 136 trips to look for so the direction is going to be bullish but the question is where exactly we can start buying this pair now let's go to the daily chart now on the daily chart, what we need right now to do is separate the false breakouts from the real level of a support. And we can do that by looking at these two candles in the middle. These two candles are representing a false breakout. Meanwhile, we're having here a real level of a support, real level of a support, and another real level of a support. So what I'm going to do is simply ignore these two candles in the middle and check this out. Now we have a perfection here. We have a match. We have here that support level and the market has always been respecting that level of a support. Then we had one false breakout because we don't see any, any uh, attempt of a resistance right there. And the market has instantly broke out from that level. And that support level has instantly been respected again as a support. Then we have here the odd movement of the candles. These two candles, my friends, are nothing but a false breakouts. Meanwhile, the, re the real level of a support lies right there and has been respected again right here. So again, the market seems like it's going to be bullish. And now it's a question of where exactly we can start shorting it. Now to find the, the, the best level to the buy order, let's now jump to the four hour time frame. All right. Now on the four hour time frame, we need to do more separation for the false breakouts and real level of a support and resistance. Pay attention to that structure right here. Now on that structure, where can we see the real level of a support? Exactly right here. These three tails right here represent the real level of a support because we can tell that these uh, three candles here was actually a false breakout. Meanwhile, that support level has been respected right there. So in other words, the real level of a support lies exactly right there. And we can see the perfection right here on the past as well, because this was also a real level of a support, a false breakout, and then many attempts of the real support. Meaning, most likely we will have to wait for the euro USD to fall for about 41 pips before we can start proceed to buying the pair. And in my opinion, that's gonna be actually a better entry because we're having here also a support trend line and as we can see, most likely the market is going to be respecting that level of a support trend line. It has already reversed on it four times already. So um, buying from that level of a support is going to be ideal because actually this is going to be the lowest level where we can expect from the euro USD to fall against our direction. But I'm telling you something, if you are really a hardcore trader, yeah, I like that term, hardcore trader. <laughs> yes, I you. Anyway, if you are really uh, a serious trader, then it's not really a bad idea to proceed buying the EURUSD right away. I actually doubt that the EURUSD is going to make any bearish reversals at the moment. The bullish movement here is so strong, and if we study this structure right here, the last structure that we had, we can see that the market has already broken out from the level 61.8 Fibonacci retracement which tells us that most likely the euro USD is indeed going to continue the fall right away. However, we are just uh, considering the strength or the pressure from the resistance right here at 1.0265. And we are actually um, hoping for a pullback to give us the best entry possible at Fibonacci 38.2. But I think also, again, since we are actually above the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement with this very strong bullish movement, that we can indeed start buying the euro USD right now but however consider that you might actually be running in loss for a few pips before finally become in profit that being said the safe zone should be ranging just right here till the lowest level of the support at 1.01417 which means um, it's going to be ranging for about actually we can make it a little bit more that's even better uh, we can make it for about 53 pips 
Now for the take profit level. The take profit level eventually gonna be right here, the, the nearest support to our entry. That is actually the nearest strong key support level, and I believe that the, the Euro UST is gonna continue the rise for about 177 pips. But again, I'm a person who prefer to give realistic targets. That being said, I'm going to use Fibonacci retracement right here, and I'm telling you something, we can keep the trade running till it reaches Fibonacci 50, which means we can keep the trade running for about 101 pips. That's gonna be, my friends, our target. Uh, actually, let's just make it here at the peak of the resistance at 1.0271, which means we are aiming approximately 92 pips profit from this signal and a safe zone of 55 pips only. Let me now delete the Fibonacci retracement. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the Euro USD. Hopefully, it's gonna work well and gives us lots of profits. Let's now move to the pound USD. Okay, so for the pound USD as well, we can see that the market has reversed uh, exactly from the sell level because of that strong bullish movement right, right, there, right there. So let's now delete this signal and let's see what we can do next with the pound USD. Actually, if we go down to the weekly chart, we can see something here very interesting. We can see that the market has indeed managed to break out from that level of a support at 1.19717. Right now, the market has actually closed above that level of a support right here at 1.21514. We need now to actually, yes, that is what I'm talking about. This support right here, exactly. That support right there at 1.20994 is most likely gonna be respected again all we can expect from the from the uh, pound USD is to fall again, and that level of a previous support most likely is going to be respected. And not only that, if we check here the support trend line, we can see that the market most likely is going to be respecting that level. Keep in mind, I'm on, I'm analyzing on the weekly chart. I'm going to show you now how it looks on the smaller time frames, but these two tails right there represent, represents support trend line. Then we had here the bullish breakout, and then we can expect from on the next candle that is going to be a little bit bearish, and that support level, uh, that support trend line is most likely going to be respected again. To show you this in details, let's go to the four-hour time frame instantly. Check this out. That is exactly what I'm talking about. We can see clearly this is details that which has actually uh, appeared right now on the weekly chart, and we can right now expect from the market to fall all the way to that level to however uh, respect that level of a support trend line but the thing here is that what we can see right now on the four hour time frame is that level has already been respected check this out the market has already approached that level and has already reversed meaning it has been indeed respected and the market right now is getting ready for the rise so now going back to the four hour time frame we can tell clearly that the pound usd is going to continue to be bullish now the question is where exactly we can start buying this pair well we have to go right now to the smaller time frame we have to go to the one hour time frame now on the one hour time frame we can see clearly that we had right here a previous support i mean like that's just right there exactly this is my friends the nearest support to our entry which means we have to wait for the pound usd to fall for about 36 pips before we can start buying the pair and let me just show you why because right here we have support trend line just like that exactly just like that and all i need to do right now is simply drag the same support trend line all the way to the nearest strong support trend line as well now we can tell clearly that this support level is going to be most likely respected because we had in the middle a false breakout and all i can expect actually uh, from the pound usd is to fall again to that level and that support trend line is most likely going to be respected not to mention of course that we had right here also support and support false breakout and then again support and most likely the market is going to fall upon the pressure from the resistance at 1.21803 so that being said we are going to start buying the pound usd right from that level of a previous support and for the target, I really prefer to give you the target, which is going to be a little more realistic, exactly right here at the peak of the highest resistance level at 1.224652, uh, which means we are actually aiming 103 pips profit from the signal. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging only till right here at the lowest level of the support. Check the mouse cursor. That tail right there represents the lowest level of the support 
at 1.209.32, uh, uh, which means it's going to be ranging for about 50 pips only and a target of 105 pips. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the pound USD. Let's now move to the next pair. Let's now move to the AUD USD. Okay, so of course we need to delete the old signal and let's see now what we can do with the AUD USD. Now, of course, as we can see, my friends, on the weekly chart, the market has shown here a very strong bullish movement. And of course, we have actually met the, bro the, bro the breakout, sorry, the bullish breakout from that long term support exactly right here at 0 0.68715. This actually, frankly speaking, was one perfect, perfect trade. If you have entered this trade right here by buy order, depending on the previous support right there, you would actually have made a very decent profit of about... 157 pips however it has confirmed anyway that the market is going to be bullish for the next week because right now after breaking out also from that resistance as well as 0.69646 we can see that we had here a resistance and the market has made a bullish breakout out of it now going to the daily chart we can assume that the market is actually going to continue the rise at least to hit the previous real level of a resistance at 0 0.71257. This was, my friends, right there, a false breakout. Why? Because we had here a resistance and then we had here what seemed like actually a bullish breakout from that resistance. So instead of having a new support, we ended up with another bearish breakout candle. And that week right there, and remember I'm on the daily chart. So each candle here represents a whole day, meaning that level of a resistance has also been respected as a resistance, confirming that this was indeed the real level of the resistance. And all we can expect right now from the AUD USD is going to continue the rise till it reaches that level of a real resistance, which means we still have 130 pips more to go. So let's not go now to the four hour time frame to identify our entries, because we are sure that we are going to start buying the pair. Now pay attention that the line is already actually placed right there. I'm not sure how, because maybe I was depending on the weekly chart, maybe. However, uh, the line is already there <clears throat> on the four hour time frame. We can see that we had right here a real level of a support, which was previously also a real level of a resistance. And we have right here another false breakout. Now all we can expect actually from the AUD USD. To fall more again making another pullback and that real level of a support is most likely gonna be respected which means we have to wait for the AUD USD to fall for about 26 pips before we can proceed to buy the pair and for the target I don't really need to give you uh, unrealistic levels I'm going to select the nearest strong key resistance level right here as 0 0.70689 as my take profit level which means we can actually expect to make about 102 pips profit from the signal. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging only till the lowest level of the support as 0 0.69119, uh, which means it's going to be ranging for about 51 pips and the take profit level of 105 pips. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the AUD USD. Let's now move to the next pair. Let's now take a look at the USD CAD. Okay, so of course we need to get rid of the old uh, buy signal and we need right now to consider shorting this pair. Uh, it all actually depends on that real level of the resistance exactly right there at 1.28478. If we go now to the bigger picture of the daily chart, we can notice clearly that this level has acting as a strong real res resistance for a really long time. You are talking about more than a year since August 2021. And we don't really have time to track each one of them, but we can tell clearly that we had here a real level of a resistance for a long time. Meanwhile, in the middle, we had here a false breakout. So eventually, that real level of a resistance has become support for only one time, or we can maybe only two, say two times, but it was very weak attempts, and the market has ended up by immediately, by immediately breaking out from that level of a support and that level most likely has been respected again as a resistance and in the results we can actually expect from the from the usd cad to continue the fall till it reaches that real level of a strong support at 1.27156 all of that has confirmed that the usd cad is going to be bearish for this week so now going to the four hour time frame we can see that the market has actually been creating right here a, a resistance trend line 
and all we can expect right now is from the USD CAD to respect that level of a resistance trend line. Now remember that real level of the resistance we talked about on the daily chart, it is right there and you can see that the market has been respecting that level for once and twice. So two times the market has made an attempt to break out from that level and most likely right now it's not gonna make a third attempt due to the resistance trend line. So by going to the week, to the one hour time frame, uh, this is the resistance trend line and as we can see we had right here a resistance attempt exactly at 1.28293. We have here a single attempt of the resistance and upon the pressure from the support at 1.27979, we can actually expect from the USD CAD to rise again for about 30 pips. First of all, it's gonna be creating the resistance number two. And second of all, it's gonna be respecting that level of a real resistance trend line one, two, three, four times. So on the fifth attempt, we can actually start shorting the pair. So most likely that's going to be the plan. We will be shorting the USD CAD after it rises for about 30 pips only. And then the take profit level has to be placed, as I have mentioned earlier, at the nearest strong key support level at 1.27156, which means we can actually expect to make 112 pips profit from this signal. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging, my friends, till the peak of the real, uh, real level of a resistance at 1.28858, which is gonna be about, I would say, 54 pips or 56, uh, 56 pips and the take profit level of 114 pips. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the USD CAD. Let's now move to the USD JPY. And really, really, I started to thinking to eliminate entirely the analysis of the USD JPY and replace it with the uh, NZD USD. Uh, I think this is going to be better. I'm, I'm really considering this since this pair is just moving crazily and it's really hard to predict. Uh, someone actually might ask me, why don't you just include the NZD USD already in your analysis? I tell you the video is already like 37 minutes long and adding another pair is going to make it definitely more than 40 minutes, which is going to be totally boring. And I really don't want that. It's already boring, by the way. Anyway, let's now see what we can do with the USDJPY and hopefully it's going to be this time accurate. So by looking at the pair right here, um, we can see that the market has actually made a, a, a strong reversal right on 139.120 and the market hasn't actually been able to exceed that level. Now, if we check the monthly chart, however, we can see that right now we are finally below the peak of the real level of the resistance of the highest uh, that the USDJPY has ever reached to. Uh, right, right now we actually the candle the week the monthly candle is almost uh, is gonna close actually i mean yeah because today is um um saturday the 30th of july and by beginning of the next week the new candle will appear and most likely it's gonna be not most likely it will be below that level of a resistance so finally we are below that level of a resistance at 133.827 which means we are definitely looking for a short, a short order and most likely the take profit level has to be placed right here at that previous level of resistance. Of course, we're talking about monthly charts, so we are talking about long term. So that's going to be happening actually within a few weeks. So let's now go to the daily chart. Actually, let's go to the four hour time frame. Now on the four hour time frame, we need to identify the real level of a resistance and support. Now, by the naked eyes, we can see right here that we had here a false breakout, then we had here a support level, a real support, of course. So now we need to uh, separate them. So the real level of the support lies exactly right here. So 133.642 is the real level of the support, and we had, we had here the false breakout. Now, that level cannot be ignored. Most likely, that is the level where we can start actually shorting the USD JPY. Now, the interest, interesting thing here is we can see recently we had here also a false resistance. This was a false breakout, which means if I go to the 30 minute time frame, check this out. Indeed, I was correct. This was, my friends, a false breakout. Meanwhile, the real level of the resistance was exactly right here at 133.568. Of course, you need to look at the smaller time frame to be able to identify these levels. Now, all that we can actually expect right now from the USDJPY, that it's uh, USDJPY, yes, is most likely we're facing here a support zone and we can expect from the pair 
to rise again for about 33 or 34 pips and from that level we can start shorting the usd jpy till it reaches the, in the nearest strong key support level at 132.550 which is gonna provide us approximately 100 pips of profit meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging only till right here the peak of the resistance of the false breakout on 134.233 which means the safe zone will be ranging for about 66 so that's actually a lot let's go to the 15 minute time frame yes actually that's that's better so i can see here that we ha that we had here a resistance that's going to be the edge of the safe zone which will be ranging for about 50 pips or 48 pips i would say and the take profit level of 100 pips and that's going to be hopefully a good signal for the usdgpy and there goes your signal, my friends, for the USDJPY. Let's now move to the next pair. Let's now move to the USDCHF. Okay, so gladly the USDCHF, USDCHF signal has worked perfectly fine. Let's now move to uh, the next uh, analysis and let's see what we can do next with the USDCHF. Now, the interesting thing is if we go to the weekly chart, we can notice right here that we had a previous strong key resistance level. And the USDCHF seems like it's actually going toward that level of a resistance. So, if I'm not mistaken, it was in the past a real level of a support, as we can see. Then we had here a false breakout, and the market has actually ended up making another level of a real support. So, the level of 0 0.94632 cannot be simply ignored, because most likely it's actually stronger as a support than a resistance. Because on the weekly chart, since August 2017, we had many, multiple attempts and the market has actually moved in a bigger in actually strong movement since the market has been reversing on that level of a support but when it was a resistance however we can see that the market has been moving in consolidation mode and it didn't actually make a strong impact on the market and instantly the market has made a strong bullish breakout from that level of a previous resistance so most likely the first attempt uh, of the new support because this is going to be a support number one so the i think if i'm not mistaken the new attempt of a support is going to be massive and we can actually expect from the uccchf to continue the rise till it reaches the peak of the resistance as 0 0.97940 which means we can actually expect about 324 pips of movement now of course i'm not going to give you this much of uh, of a signal but we can actually identify now that the the entry and the distance so let's now go to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame all we can see right here is that the market has indeed created the first attempt of the support so we can actually rely on it so we can say on 0 0.94632 it's not a bad idea to start buying the uccchf let's go to the daily chart so we have to wait for the uccchf to fall for about 45 pips before we can start buying it and if we do that the target has to be placed at the nearest resistance to our entry which is li which lies exactly right here because remember i'm on the daily chart if i go to the four hour time frame i can see that indeed this was the nearest resistance to my entry now back to the daily chart so meaning if we started buying the uccchf at this level we can keep the trade running for about 128 pips meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging my friends till the lowest level of the support which is the nearest one to that bullish breakout candle which means the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 52 pips and the take profit level of about 130 pips i would say let me now write the signal for you and there goes your signal my friends for the usc chef let's now move to the next pair let's now take a look at the gold which is by the way recovering from uh, the recent changes in the federal uh, rates in the united states um uh, and i think the federal banks rates i mean and most likely right now is going to continue the rise so in general from technical view of course we are having right here my friends a real level of a support for the gold it's on 1752.04 now the question is does the gold has any capability to reach again that level of a support so we can start buying it the answer is most likely yes because right here we are having a previous resistance 
and we can actually expect from the gold to fall again after reaching that level of a previous resist resistance. Keep in mind that I have already sent here a signal that we can start shorting the gold from that level of a previous resistance. And pay attention also that the gold has already went down for about 140 pips and has touched that level of a previous support. Of course, my signal was only for this support right there, but the gold has actually been able to fall all the way to that level of a support. Now, it's important to mention that we had here one single attempt of that support. So this is support number one. Now, so far, I don't see any bullish candle here that indicates that the gold is going to continue the rise. Most likely, we will have to wait for the gold to fall again for about 132 pips, reaching that level of a previous strong key support level at 1,752.20. And we're going to start buying the gold right from that level. And most likely, the take profit level has to be placed right here at the nearest strong key resistance level exactly right here at 1809 exactly which means we can actually expect to make about 572 pips profit however i just really hate giving unrealistic take profit levels that being said i'm going to lower my take profit level to be exactly at 1800 <coughs> exactly right here and the safe zone based on that support level right here that is my friends <coughs> a support zone as we can see and we can actually expect from the gold to be ranging inside of this zone but however i don't see this is happening due to the current weakness of the uc dollar and of course that the dollar um sorry i mean the gold is actually rising after the changes in the interest rates so we can actually expect to make approximately i would say about 460 pips profit from the signal meanwhile the safe zone is ranging for about 250 pips and trust me in gold that is actually normal and realistic signal so let me know please write the signal for you and there goes the signal my friends for the gold hopefully it's gonna be in general a very good week and hopefully we'll make all good profits together so again i want to remind everyone to please drop in the comments what's your thoughts about the new idea of sending daily or almost daily uh scalping signals for the gold what do you think about this maybe i should consider doing something else maybe you need something else you think it's more important and also don't forget to join the premium group we are going to be back this week and hopefully it's gonna be a very great comeback and we're actually expecting to make a lots of fips this week due to the easy setups that we are actually expecting this week and of course there is something very very important that i should have said in the beginning of the video but i don't know how did i forget to say it actually my friends we have to pay extra attention because on this coming monday we will be having the ism pmis for the usd dollar um of course since it's the, the first uh, monday of the week they are going to uh, the, the uh, they are going to announce it so we have to be very very careful and pay attention that all these signals are so subjective to these news my goodness how did i forget to talk about this in the beginning of the video i have no idea I was actually planning to do it but then in the end I, I thought maybe there is something i forgot to say so guys please be extra careful i will warn everyone in the free group you make sure my friends to to join the free group of telegram to receive the recent updates and uh, warnings about any of these signals on youtube if you don't join the group it is um it's all you are all trading by yourself you are not in the team you are not in the group you are you are just cut off from the loop Make sure to join the free group of Telegram to get the recent updates and um, notifications about these signals on YouTube. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.